Hello and welcome to Highlights of Stage 3 of the Tour of Scandinavia, the Battle of the North. 119 kilometres today from Mus to Sarpsborg. This is what the riders have to contend with. Out of the blocks, they would take in the first Queen of the Mountains after 25.3 kilometres covered onto the sprint at Carlos with 70.7 .7 to go. Onto Greco, where they'd have the second QOM of the day. Before the finishing circuit, they start with 24.9 to go and then they would take in three laps of 6.7 kilometres. Two days, two victories for Mariana Voss. She took a 14 second advantage over Megan Jastrub and Amelia Farlin into the stage. Alison Jackson in green, and McCrack in the Queen of the Mountains. Megan Jastrup in the Best Young Riders classification. It was Josie Nelson and Eleanor Peroni who were the breakaway riders. That got clear the first real breakaway of the Tour of Scandinavia so far. They built a commanding lead as they came to the intermediate uh, sprint. It was Alison Jackson that just got the better of uh, Alina van Royen for the third and fourth place points to extend a lead. AG Insurance Next G really are throwing everything into the sprints. There was unfortunately a big crash in the peloton just outside 55 kilometers to go just after Team Bike Exchange had come to the front in an exposed crosswind section and put the hammer down. It left large groups chasing to get back in. After multiple attacks, though, they did find their way back to the peloton. Lord Oyabide of Team Movistar was the next rider to go, while Nelson and Peroni were still up the road, but their gap now was down to 38 seconds. The former Spanish champion, former Burgos stage a winner, Perfect terrain, perfect rider to get across to the leaders. What an injection of a fresh pair of legs managed to extend the lead of Peroni and Nelson and perhaps take them a little closer to the finish, but it would be a tall order. They were heading towards the finishing circuit and the category three climb, and it would be on these slopes where Oyabida would distance Nelson. She would take maximum points over the top. She's no threat in the Queen of the Mountains classification so far. Neither is Josie Nelson. She took second place points while Amber Crack made sure she swept up third spot. The breakaway, though, was in sight. Sophia Bertitzola with Mariana Voss on the wheel went. Oibide was swept up. It would be chaos and mayhem all the way. Alice Barnes of Canyon Shram was the next rider to go. When we were here in 2021, Kristen Faulkner of then Team Tipco Silicon Valley Bank managed to outwit the sprinters and hold on for a famous stage victory. Through the line and the next intermediate sprint, Jackson went and took second place points and persisted with her move over the top. Alice Barnes at a gap, though, was closing, and as she went through the bell, it was Esme Peppercamp of Team DSM on the front that was trying to bring things back. Multiple attacks, though, from Lucinda Brand, but Mariana Voss was never far from the wheel. These two riders had done battle in the World Cyclocross Championships early on in the year, where Voss took the jersey away from Brand inside the trees and with the finish line uh, looming. It was looking like a bunch sprint. FDJ Suez for Turoscope were looking to try and lead things out for Cecily Uttrup Ludwig. Mariana Voss, though, had quite a job on her hands to find her way up towards the front. Uttrup Ludwig went first. And then almost a repeat of her Tour de France Femme stage victory. But this time, Mariana Voss came through for her third stage victory in as many days ahead of the Dane while Canyon Shram's young Belgian Shari Bossai crossed the line in third and that would be enough to give her the white jersey as the best young rider. She had to work hard and go really deep for that victory, but Mariana Voss does it again. Three days, three stage victories, extends her lead overall, takes it from Utrecht Ludwig and Shari Bossai. Man, Lever, Hulst, Brand, Bertitzolo, Kasselein, Mackay and Tryon, your top ten. Look at that finish, Cecily Uttrup Ludwig for the second day in a row. FDJ Suez Futuroscope have to settle for second place, but another storming ride by Shari Bossai of Canyon Shram to take that third spot. Marina Voss looking comfortable in that yellow jersey. 
She has, of course, won the Ladies' Tour of Norway on three occasions. It's now a bigger tour and the Tour of Scandinavia, but she leads by 22 seconds from Shari Bossite, 24 to Uttrup Ludwig, while Manly Mackay, Jastra, Bertiz, Oliver, Holst, Vigi, all still in that top 10 overall. We move on to stage four, Askim two mice and 119.2 kilometers, fairly similar terrain to today. Can Mariana Voss make it four out of four? You wouldn't bet against it.